Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make these crochet bowls or baskets. So let's get started. Let's have another snowstorm. Hey, over in the corner you can see there's about a foot of snow on my table. And here's a view from my back window. And from my front. To work with two strands of worsted weight yarn and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to begin with my slip knot. I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join. And form a ring. And I can carry this yarn and along the outside of the ring. Chain one. And we're going to make ten single crochet in the ring. Make a single crochet, insert the hook through, pick up the yarn, and pull it through, then pick up the yarn, and pull it through the two loops. So I'm going to go ahead and make 10 single crochet in the ring. Okay, I have my 10 single crochet in the ring. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Chain one, and turn. Single crochet around, making two single crochet in every third stitch. So that's one, two, and this is the third stitch, so I'm going to make two in that stitch. One, and two. So single crochet one, single crochet two, and then single crochet two times in the same stitch. And I'm going to continue to do that until this circle is as large as the bottom of my container. And it doesn't matter what size the container is, it will be the same procedure. You just crochet around, and every third stitch you'll make two. And you can pull that yarn in to close the hole. Keep working. This, until this is the same size as the bottom of your container, I'm going to start working up the sides. Single crochet around, but I'm only going to work in the back side of the stitch. So I'm going to chain one so that it's easy for me to see where I start. And I'm going to single crochet in every stitch all the way around. No more increases. And I'm going to only work in the back side of the stitch because then that's going to give me a nice ridge along the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work around making one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, I've worked all the way around. Now at the end of the row I'm going to slip stitch to join. I'm going to chain one and turn. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of the row I'm going to slip stitch to join. Okay, I've worked all the way around. At the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join. And that's going to fit on my container like that. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to work three or four rows. So I will chain one and turn. And I'm going to single crochet in the very same stitch as the chain one. And then I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around. And when I get back to the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the first single crochet. So I'll go ahead and single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I'm going to find that first single crochet, slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. Now I'm going to go ahead off camera and I'm going to work several more rows. Okay, I've worked a few more rows and now I'm going to change colors and I'm going to change to red so I have two strands of red. I'm just going to start right in the very next stitch. I'm going to pull my yarn through and chain one. That was my double crochet. So single crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Yarn around the hook, insert it into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. In the next stitch, make a single crochet, yarn through the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, 
pick up the yarn, pull it through too. I'm going to alternate all the way around, making a double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next. Okay, my red row has been completed. I'm just going to bring in some white paper so you can see my stitches better. And I'm going to work with some navy blue. I can join in any stitch. I'm going to join here. This is a double crochet. So I'll pull my yarn through and I'll lock it in with one stitch. And because I'm alternating single and double, that will take the place of my first single crochet. So this is a single crochet in the red, so I'm going to make a double crochet in the blue so that I'll be working the hound's tooth. Now this next is a double, so that should be a single and a double. I'm going to work that way across the row, so a single and a double. So work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. That was my beginning chain, so that's going to be my single. I ended with a double, and I'm going to slip stitch to join in that single stitch and fasten off. Now I'm going to join red again, and I'm going to join here. Lock it in. Now that was a single crochet, so I need a double here. So I'll do one extra chain, and that chain two is going to take the place of my first double crochet. And so in the next stitch, I need to make a single crochet. A double crochet. Single crochet. Double crochet. Single crochet. And a double crochet. And I'm going to continue all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and I slip stitch to join and I'm going to fasten off. I'll slide my container in to see how many more rows I need to finish. And I'll probably only need two more rows of single crochet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and join some white. And you can start in any stitch. Insert my hook through, pull up the yarn, lock it in. So now I'm just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join, chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and I slip stitch to join. And now for the last row, I'm going to decrease so that it'll fit nice and snug along the top. So I've chained one and turned and I'm going to single crochet around and I'm going to skip every fifth stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, and I'm skipping that one. Let's go right to the next stitch. One, two, three, four, skip that next stitch. One, two, three, four, skip, one, two, three, four, and I'm back at the beginning. I've reached the end of the row. I'm going to slip stitch to join and fasten off. And now I'm going to slide my container in. And because we made that a little bit snug along the top, it will hug along the top of the container. And that's how easy it is to cover a container to use as a basket or a bowl. To turn these into baskets, start with a chain that's as long as you would like your handle to be. Like that. And then work quite tightly and single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And in each stitch all the way across the row. So work all the way across the chain. Like that, I've gone ahead and single crocheted tightly all the way down the chain. And then using a yarn needle and the same color yarn, sew it on each side and you will have a little basket. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.